Today I'm going to do a devlog about level 8. I will be going through some good design ideas and bad design ideas and some different ideas that I use to make levels flow and look better. I will be using Blender and Unity. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Level 8 is when Nim goes from the fictitious world back to reality and it's closing that down and I can't kind of tell you how it happened, how it all ends because that would spoil the game but I can tell you that we wanted to have our best puzzles in this section probably the puzzles that will define the game Light Haze World also if you haven't go and wishlist that because that's a great help so in this section it's a kind of cloudy environment and there are some platforms that are broken up and Nim has to navigate through these platforms to get out the way that I went about building this scene is there is a few paths that can be taken here from the player. And I can't tell you about that either because that will destroy the ending as well. But I had to design the map so you could see this, the different sections of the map that I needed you to see. And by doing that, then I could create a path through these floating platforms. But how do you decide how big the platforms are going to be? And what shape they're going to be. So for me, the best way to do that was to first go and design the puzzles, which can take a bit of time. I, I, I think I sat down for a whole day drawing out these puzzles, then made them in the game and I'll, I'll export those puzzles to Blender. And when I get them through to Blender, then I can go through and build the platforms around the puzzles. So instead of building a platform and then trying to fit a puzzle into it, I make the puzzle and then the platform around it. It's a bit simpler and kind of works out. Part of this though is to work out how the puzzles interact with the world. You will have sections of the world that will raise or lower depending on what puzzles are complete or not complete. I had to then make different platforms kind of break up so I knew how I could make them raise or lower. I, I think if you're going to make platforming type thing like this, it's best to make multiple platforms. Don't just make the one platform because as you get through this, I know that I'm going to raise and lower some of these a little bit to adjust them. And if everything was one platform, it just becomes too hard. After I build all the platforms, I, I'll go through, kind of change the edges of the platforms, stretch them out a bit, do a few things like that to kind of make sure they work. And then I'll put them into Unity. I'll put placeholder material on them until they get painted by Liam. Um, he'll, he'll come through and paint these, touch up the platforms a little bit with all the, the little mistakes that I have definitely made. And I'll go and put some trees on, see if it looks how I want it to look. And it's important once you get to this point is go and play through the level, walk through with your character, see if you're getting the camera angles that you want it, if you thought were going to be there. Sometimes you'll play through these sections and you, you'll go, oh, I didn't want you to be able to see that bit. Or I didn't want you to be able to see over here or see over there, but you can see more than I wanted you to see, or you might not be able to see enough. Sometimes I've had the platforms too far apart and I, I wanted the player to be able to see the next platform. But when they got to the edge of this platform, the other platform was way too far away, which the distancing was all wrong. And, and that's where you can fine tune platforms a little bit by moving them a little bit, or you might have to go back into Blender and move some things around so it can work but yeah i i think knowing what you want the player to see is a really good step because if i don't know what the player is going to see in my mind before i make it i i don't know how far apart i want everything to be or how close together i want things to be anyway i don't want to give away too much definitely subscribe if you want to find out more about Light Haze World, and I'll keep making some little devlogs, keep you guys in the loop. Thank you for watching. Talk again soon.